Welcome to our morning devotional. We're in Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 to 13 today. Let me read it. Then Moses said to the Lord, Please, Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither recently nor in time past, nor since you have spoken to your servant. For I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. The Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth, or who makes him mute or deaf or seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now then go, and I, even I, will be with your mouth and teach you what you are to say. But he said, Please, Lord, now send the message by whomever you will. Now, this might sound, uh, we might not get this, but this is a very, very deferential culture, and this is really Moses' way of saying, Lord, I don't want to go. Send somebody else. He doesn't want this assignment, and so he asks God to send somebody else. And I want you to notice that Moses is pleading inability. He says, basically, uh, there's something wrong with my language. I, I, can't, I can't do it. I don't, I don't have the ability. You're asking me to do something that I can't do. And what is God pleading? Well, God's response is basically, oh, no, you, you have the ability. I have given you the ability. <laughs> if I say you can do it, you can do it. You can be pretty sure of that. So whenever God assigns you or I to a mission, and what do we tend to do? We often will plead inability. Oh, I don't have a degree, or I don't have this training, or I don't have this experience, or I don't know how to do this, or I don't know how to do that. And, but God is coming back here with Moses. Moses is trying this, uh, this approach, and God is saying, no, 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 I'm with you. It's okay. You, you have the ability. I, I will get you through. And so we tend to often make a similar approach, saying, God, don't send me. I don't know how to talk to these people. I don't know how to persuade these people. And remember, you know, since it's God, the one who's appointing us to the assignment, I mean, if there's anybody in the universe that knows what they're doing, it's God. And so he knows what abilities you have. He knows better than you know. And so he's sending you on this mission. So that's, that's kind of a sign that, oh, you have the ability. God will be with us. He's asking us to say yes and be faithful. So sure, you without God, for sure, you're probably unable to execute such a mission. But with God, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so, yes, we should be able to do whatever God sends us to do. And what does he do? He says in Matthew 28, go, you know, go make, teach all nations, make disciples, baptize them. Uh, that is a commission that God gives to every believer. Now, if you're a believer, unless you're not a, not a believer, but if you're a believer, that is, means that God sends you and he sends you in his different ways that he sends us, but he calls us all and we're all part of the mission. And Moses here is kind of uh, taking this uh, slippery, let me slip out the back door approach here. I don't want to do it. So remember, when God appoints you to a mission, God is calling you to something that you have been given the ability to do. So again, God commands Moses to go. He says, I, even I, will be with you. I mean, the God of heaven, <laughs> the God of the creation, he is telling you to go. He's, he's giving you the privilege, Moses, of you get to lead a great movement of, uh, to deliver a people from oppression and be God's kind of God's primary human agent in this. Um, this is the highest honor. And uh, I, even I, God says, you know, I'll be, it's not, it's not just anybody, you know, it's not Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's not the president or something. I, God, will be with you. I mean, what a remarkable incentive. And yet Moses says, God, you know, send somebody else. Now, you and I are human. You, we've, we've both, we've all been in situations where we, we were called to do something. We didn't really want to do it. We've all been in situations where we were asked to do something we didn't want to do. And, but basically, we, most of the time, we have the ability. It's kind of a matter of what we're willing to do. It's not a matter of whether we can or cannot. It's a matter of whether, whether we're willing or not willing. So we get into these uncomfortable situations, but life's about growing. Life is not about, uh, life is not like a nap, okay? Life is not like you, you get up in the morning so you can take a nap. That's kind of cockeyed. So we're supposed to be doing things in, in, in our life. In fact, the Bible in the psalmist, what does he say? Uh, whatever you do, do for the Lord, do it with might. So yeah, we're supposed to be really uh, aggressive in doing the things that God sends us forth to do. So Moses is, Moses isn't planning to do this with might. Moses is planning not to do it at all. And God is pretty firm with him. He says, no, no, you can't unvolunteer yourself. I, I'm, I'm sending you. You're the one. So this is the experience of a lifetime. God is calling Moses to do it. And as he calls you and I, whatever God asks you to do, uh, Mary had really good advice. Do it. 
And so that should be what Moses should do here. So let's see what happens as this conversation continues. Uh, by the way, if you think you're going to win in a conversation with God, you're going to outsmart him or persuade him differently. Interesting, interesting approach, but let's see what happens. Come on, more.